when you are serving from the heart, you don't broker deals with God to get out of serving because you recognize I, I'm unique and I'm the only one that can make the contribution that I am making. And so it's really important for me to be there to serve somebody else in this way. And so you wouldn't think about finding ways to get out of serving because you think, I just want to be there to make this contribution that God has designed me to make. And you don't get frustrated when you don't get credit because all you're thinking is, I just want God to be famous. Like if somebody actually got to know God better tonight, then it's worth it to me. I don't need to be appreciated. I don't need to be the one that gets made famous. I just want God to be famous. And you don't get frustrated when you serve because you recognize that the challenging times as you are serving, those are gifts from God too. That he is building character in you and he might even be building character in the frustrating person that you are serving. You see, sometimes you just have to trust God with what the next step is. You, you're serving somebody who clearly just does not want to be served. They're not responding kindly to you. They're not responding in a way that's, you know, that they, that they look like on the outside. They're even considering what a relationship with God might look like. But you don't know what God has, in, has designed for them down the road. You might just be planting the seed now by your, uh, your caring, your authentic service of that person, that there's going to be a day, a day down the road where they do open themselves to what God has to say to them. And the last thing is this, is that if you're still wiped out at the end, I mean, you probably will be, regardless of how you're serving, you're going to be exhausted by the time you get to the end of it. You don't think to yourself, why am I doing this? The overwhelming thought for you is, I can't wait till next week. <laughs> like you feel exhausted, but you're still thinking, I cannot wait until next week gets here and I can serve this way again, or next month or next time, whatever the time frame would be for you. 